and natural gas to solar, wind and hydro. America's energy future is looking green. The sun is a powerful source of local energy, but windy ridgelines in San Diego's backcountry are a growing source of clean power. CBS 8's Evan Narani explains in tonight's Earth 8 report. We can click on turbines and see what's going on. There's so many moving pieces and it sounds like it's just kind of spinning effortlessly. The U.S. continues to hit major milestones in the growing renewable energy market. That includes wind energy, responsible for a rising percentage of the energy powering the San Diego electric grid. So as the air molecules cascade across that ridge line there and they come down here, the air molecules become more densely packed, which provides a little bit more torque to the blades, which is why we have such long blades as well. They might not look like they spin super fast, but they have a lot of torque behind them and they produce very well. In Boulevard, about an hour outside of San Diego and just off the 8 freeway, a company called Avangrid powers 57 wind turbines built in just the last few years. They span several miles, constantly sending clean energy to San Diego's grid with the potential to power thousands of homes. For me personally, I enjoy the challenge of understanding these machines. I mean, they're wonderful machines, they're complex in nature, but they're also simplistic in design. So. It's really fascinating to understand even the smallest things about them, the very small, tiny devices, how they work. That's kind of what gets me going. And there's a lot of challenging aspects. And James would know. He's a plant manager of the wind farm, ensuring the turbines continue to work properly, turning a profit for the company, but also passing benefits on to the consumers. Jose Antonio Miranda is the CEO of Avangrid, saying San Diego County's wind farm continues to exceed expectations. The most affordable energy is distributed first and then the least affordable energy is not distributed. And, and in that respect, wind is so competitive that it's always dispatched, right? Normally it's always dispatched. And, and by dispatching the wind, you are lowering the bill of the electricity. Beyond the financial incentives, there's the environmental aspect, wind energy being a clean way to ensure power to the grid and already providing about 10% of electricity nationwide. Here in San Diego, SDG&E estimates about 40% of the electricity that powers homes in San Diego County comes from renewable sources like wind and solar. Right now, wind energy produced from turbines like the ones behind me accounts for the largest source of renewable energy in the state of California. There was even a 24 hour stretch where wind energy was the second largest source of energy for the entire United States, only outpaced by natural gas. But for new generations, it's something absolutely not questioned that uh, the future is clean energy or not energy at all. Overview of the entire farm in a single line. In their office, the output of each turbine can be monitored, but they're largely self-reliant. The biggest task for the team on hand involves maintenance and repairs. Beyond that, the turbines largely adjust on their own based on factors like wind speed and direction. It's done all automatic. The machine itself will automatically adjust the power and then it'll feed the voltage correctly with the proper frequency onto the grid. It is accelerating because we have offshore wind coming into, into the picture, okay? And it's gonna be a big one. And, and our company is very proud to be pioneering offshore wind in US. Wind turbines floating right off our coast may even be in our near future, a sentiment echoed by Governor Newsom and President Biden. If it moves forward, it would be the first ever offshore wind lease sale on America's west coast. As we speak, new technologies are emerging and, 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 and are accelerating this trend. That's why uh, this trend is unstoppable. In the meantime, more turbines are being built across the country to harvest more clean energy and reduce our carbon footprint. The same goes for solar and hydroelectric power, as all work to lessen our dependence on fossil fuels. In Boulevard, Evan Irani, CBS 8.